<laughs> so yeah, check it out. Orko's head can absolutely fit on the standard Masters Classics buck, and makes for some hilarious results. The other heads don't really clip onto Orko's body very well, but they can sit there, and well, the results are kind of creepy, actually. Alright, it's comparison time. Here we have Orko alongside the Vintage version. You can really see the size difference, as well as really notice how much more the new figure looks like the animated counterpart. And here he is alongside the 2000X version, which is a figure I honestly never liked. Huge difference between these two, but notice the similarities with the wand. Alright, now it's time for Adam. It's easy to see that this new Adam was modeled right after that vintage figure. And here's a big difference. I was always a fan of the way Adam was treated in the 2000X series, so I do hope we get this version of Adam in classics at some point down the road. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with this set. Orko was pulled off the way I had always wanted the figure. I wasn't too fond of either of his previous versions because they just didn't look like the Orko I saw on TV. And while I'm a big fan of the 2000X Adam, I do think this version of the character was pulled off really well in figure form. This version of Orko and Adam will go on sale on MattyCollector.com August 2nd, following San Diego Comic Con. He is not part of the subscription, and he's sure to be a fast seller. So good luck to everybody who wants to get a hold of him. Until next time.